Okay, so there's some breaking news, and this is actually quite shocking. So I remember a while back, uh, this guy, Nico, he's a huge YouTuber. He's got like 4.4 million subscribers. He was on a channel called Joe UK. It was a paid advertisement, basically, where it's like KFC and Moy Park have contacted Nico's people and got Nico down to this chicken farm to, like, use Nico's popularity to kind of humane wash the chicken industry and KFC's farming practices. It was a joke, this video. It turns out that VFC, Matthew Glover and VFC, the vegan chicken company, have investigated the exact same farm, Moy Park Farm, that Nico was in. And just recently, VFC have released their response video. So I'm gonna go through it and react to it. This is what's really behind the bucket. Straight away, you can see Matthew holding one of the dead birds. Part of KFC's behind the bucket commitment to better chicken welfare, they invited Nico, a YouTuber, to come and visit one of the farms that supplies their restaurants. Hello, my friends, I'm Nico and I'm on a farm. The video footage was shared extensively online as a paid promotion. Looks incredible. You're very welcome. Paid for by KFC. Like, they used Nico here. They exploited Nico and his reputation here and his popularity to humane wash something that is incredibly cruel. So Nico, if you're watching, you should be angry at this. KFC chose to bring Nico down here when the birds were really small and cute. They were maybe 15 to 20 days old. We've come back when they're 33 days old. Wow, it wasn't too long after Matthew and VFC went down there. It's only a few weeks. Because a few weeks with chickens makes all of the difference. So you really do care about these chickens then? Yeah, we do. Ah, that is painful. They really care about these chickens? Yeah, they're doing this to these chickens because they care about them. That's why they're mass breeding 50,000 chickens in a shed uh, in these Frankenstein bodies that they can't even exist in without suffering because they care about these chickens. Or no, do they care about getting a big paycheck from KFC? Which one is it? Tony, what about these chickens? Do you care about birds like these three here who they've got to the point where they can't stand up anymore because the skeletons are so immature uh, they just can't handle the weight so they get to a position where they just can't walk anymore they can't feed all right tony i want you to address a conspiracy theory that kfc pump chickens with steroids and make them huge <laughs> nobody grows chicken like that see how you laugh <laughs> no no we don't do anything like that but <laughs> You should actually see what we do do. Nobody in the animal protection movement claims that farmers are using steroids. Antibiotics, yes. And what we do object to is the selective breeding of these birds over decades so that the birds take on so much weight that they can no longer stand up. They're blowing these chickens up, not necessarily using steroids, but selective breeding techniques. And that's why these little baby birds are in these overgrown bodies. Why do the chickens have a swing? Uh, they don't. At least not when they're not expecting the camera crews here. Aha, uh -huh. the swing wasn't down. But do you see what they do? See what the propaganda, you know, that they just disseminate to the world? You know, the, the chickens have a swing. Like I was in a pig farm and the pig had a little bit of wood on a rope to, to nuzzle with their nose. You know, the chickens, they have a swing. They got water, we feed them, they're sheltered. Like, don't act like you're a vet or like, like a chicken sanctuary where you just love chickens, it's insane. Bells for birds to peck out and all the enrichment that we put inside the shed. We found one swing that they can reach and that's for 52,000 birds. It's just nonsense. They put little bits of enrichment around just to satisfy the welfare guidelines or something like this or to make themselves feel better or something, but it does nothing for the chickens. Like the chickens are just in horrible condition by the time they're at slaughter weight. It's just, a little swing isn't going to change anything. Put 30 swings in there, it's not going to change anything. There's no cages here. I thought there was like 4,000 chickens in one small cage. Well, Nico, there's 52,000 chickens in one cage, actually. Just one really big cage. There is no cages. I'm afraid Nico's getting confused with the egg industry, where even today they are still using cages for the hens. But at the moment, there's no such thing as a free-range egg. So they're all either in barns or in these enriched cages. So because of bird flu, they haven't 
even the free range hens haven't been let out. How is it a lot different in the chicken industry? They have no access to the outdoors, they have no natural light, they're just stuck in these horrible factory farms for their whole lives. They're short lives, they're short and horrible lives. It's just this perpetual cycle of just growth and suffering and killing constantly so people can have chicken legs out of a bucket at KFC. Very proud of our animal welfare here. We're very proud of the animal welfare here. If you listen to a farmer about animal welfare, you've been tricked. And the birds plenty of room to roam. You tell me, do these birds have plenty of room to roam? Each bird has about as much room as an iPad. You see, when Nico was there, they were so small. But when they grow up, boom, they just fill, they fill up the entire shed. And it makes sense financially <laughs> for them to maximize the amount of chickens in that space to maximize their profits, of course. And that's what they care about. They don't care about, oh, we're so proud of our welfare. We give the chickens a swing. Nonsense. They care about making money from KFC. And so do KFC. We'll sprinkle fresh straw across the floor area for them to play with and sit on. Even if it was true, like, you just, if when VFC went in there, there was just, like, fresh straw on the ground, like, it would make no difference. I don't care if you spread fresh straw on the ground when there's all these Frankenstein chickens in these overgrown bodies dying on their faces and about to go to a gas chamber to be killed. Sprinkling some fresh straw ain't gonna get you out of that moral problem. It's not exactly straw, it's a mixture of wood chip and feces. Yeah, and that's what it looks like on the floor of a chicken farm. It's like this caked, you know, poo and wee, and ammonia and like wood chips and it's like clay at the bottom and it will stick to your feet and that's what the birds have to walk around on and that's what they fall on and get ammonia burns on and they're just because they're like at such a low level so the chickens are really close to it they're smelling that it, it's disgusting inside a chicken farm the stench sticks to you oh i was hoping we wouldn't find any dead birds but um look at this one so KFC thinks it's acceptable for around about 4 or 5% of all birds to die in the farm. This one barn has 52,000 birds, which means that roughly two, two and a half thousand birds are going to die within 35 days of their life cycle. Is that acceptable? And we worked it out, like actually, it was like, I think they had about 380,000 birds on this particular farm. I think it was about something like 16,000 birds will die. And they don't just die, they suffer and die. They lay down and they start to slowly shut down over time, lying on their own feces, and then they die, most likely in pain. How the hell is that good chicken welfare? Yeah, if there's a 4.37% mortality with like, you know, nearly half a million chickens, that's fine. There's thousands of birds dying on their faces before they even get to the slaughterhouse. And people talk about humane slaughter, like, oh yeah, no, nah, they get slaughtered humanely. Well, what about the birds who suffer and die on their faces in the, in the barns? They're forgotten about? We're very proud of our animal welfare here. Look at all the dead birds. Very proud of our animal welfare here. Look at that. Shocking. You know what I mean? This but is what we found common. outside the barns. And then there's bins out the front. There you go. 13 to 15,000 birds will suffer to death here every 42 days. So that's not just, so that's every cycle. So they accept a 4.37% death rate, mortality rate, every flock. And that's every 42 days they change the flocks. That's just one chicken farm in the UK. And, and the crazy part of it, this is the chicken farm they're using as the gold standard. This is the one they're promoting to everyone and brought Nico there to exploit him and give him a script to read. Nico doesn't care about this. I don't think Nico, to be honest with you, cares about this. They just used him, his social media fame, gave him a, probably a bunch of money for this, and he's just spouting words off of a script, which is a shame because Nico's got such a large following of young British teenagers who are just going to lap this all up and feel much better when they go in to buy a KFC with their friends. KFC have been improving chicken welfare for years. The reality is that over time, intensive chicken farming is getting worse. So Tony's not really a chicken whisperer. He's the farm manager of Park Farm North, Kettlethorpe near Lincoln. Now this is one of Moy Park's flagship agricultural academies. 
Wow, flagship agricultural academy. Tony's farm is one of the best. That's why KFC came and filmed here. So you can imagine what the rest are like. Wow, that's such an impactful statement Matthew just made. This is one of their best. And that's why KFC filmed here. You know what I mean? This is the model. This is their, this is their amazing farm that they use for advertising. And that is what it looks like. Imagine the other farms. You know, and we've seen a bunch of the other farms actually, but that's, this is such an indictment on KFC and Moy Park. Like, I don't think people realize how much of an indictment this is. This was what they were promoting as their best. KFC needs to commit to moving away from the intensive factory farming of chickens like this and work on a kinder, more sustainable, plant-based chicken commitment. I like the idea of that commitment, not better welfare commitments. These welfare reforms have been around for so long, like they just don't, all they do is make the consumer feel more comfortable about buying the meat. They still have to mass produce meat. The better commitment would be a plant-based commitment and KFC know how to make plant-based chicken. They could make a whole plant-based range. They, they've got the food scientists to make the best plant-based chicken on earth, right? They really do. If they focused their attention on that, they have to shift away from this sooner or later. So we might get sued by KFC for this, or Moy Park who run the farm, or even Tony the Chicken Whisperer. But we feel that people want to know where their food comes from, and they deserve to know where their food comes from. And we don't think they want to buy food from places like this. It'll be interesting if KFC and that tried to sue, because uh, what these images show would be pretty hard to defend in court, actually, so. You know, you can still shop at KFC. Um, they do a really good vegan fillet, uh, vegan chicken burger. It's a corn fillet. Um, and it just saves having to put thousands, millions, billions of birds through this type of suffering. It's just so unfair. Yeah, get the vegan burger from KFC, you know what I mean? Made by corn. And then when they replace that, that vegan burger, you know what they do? They replace it with a corn patty and they support corn from making mushroom, what is it, microprotein patties. Boom, boom, boom. But when you buy the chicken, they replace it with these poor little birds. Boom, boom, boom. So you wanna create the demand for plant-based products and KFC needs to just get rid of growing their food off of sentient conscious beings. I think there's around a billion chickens slaughtered in the UK each year. Usually it's about 95% factory farmed. This is what indoor intensive chicken farming looks like. Um, you see this all the time, I see this all the time. It's just the standard and when are people going to wake up? These big companies are investing in these big propaganda campaigns because they're kind of worried about this progressive change and moving away from cruel products. Okay so that's why they're pumping money into this stuff and getting like people like Nico to come and spout nonsense and humane wash their industry. The Guardian made an article on this it says KFC has been accused of a misleading portrayal of chicken farming. Yeah, well, misleading, that's an understatement. So then they quoted Matthew Glover. So Matthew Glover actually co-founded Veganuary and VFC. He's a great activist and he's done some really great things, continues to do great things. Matthew Glover, VFC's co-founder said, this is the most disingenuous marketing campaign we have seen for a long time. The portrayal of chicken farming is utterly misleading and seeks to reassure the public that all is well when nothing can be further from the truth. Well said, Matthew. In response to the allegations, let's see KFC's response. We all know it's gonna be nonsense. We take the welfare of the chickens in our supply chain extremely seriously. Where have I heard that before? They must have the same PR agents, all of these. Every time there's an expose, we take the welfare of our animals very seriously. Red Tractor user, every single company user, whenever they're exposed, oh, we take animal welfare very seriously. No, you don't. No, you don't. You take financial gain extremely seriously and whatever's on the back end of that, who cares? Why, why would you care about a chicken when you're making billions of dollars? You can't even get the average person to care about a chicken, let alone a massive corporation. We will continue to work with Moy Park to ensure these standards are being met and we will continue to drive transparency, which is an important part, <laughs> which is an important part of our welfare work. So they're not going to drop Moy Park because of this. So that, that says a lot. I mean, if they cared about taking the welfare of the chickens extremely seriously, they would drop Moy Park immediately. They would stop actually selling chicken immediately. You can't care for the welfare of chickens while you're chopping them up and frying them, can you? That's not very good welfare, is it? Removing misconceptions and ensuring accountability across the industry. Look, you are not going to drive transparency. Transparency would ruin your industry 
actually. What you'll do with your transparency will be propaganda. You'll control the narrative. You won't investigate your own farms, would you? That would be transparency. You go in there, investigate it, film, film when the farmers aren't ready. Go in there, get a KFC investigator in there to go film when the farmers aren't ready. Do that, that's transparency. But you won't, because you don't care about that. So don't, don't lie with your nonsense. Your PR manager to make these nonsense quotes. It, it's frustrating me right now. It's making me angry, actually. A spokesperson for Moy Park, oh, here we go, told The Guardian, and we could Im imagine what the spokesperson said. Claims such as these are treated incredibly seriously, and we, will immediately review and we immediately reviewed the footage along with independent audits and veterinary reports. This farm is managed, <laughs> God, here we go. Here we go, are you ready for the PR spiel? Like, means nothing now. This farm is managed to a very high standard and our preliminary findings show that it is meeting those standards. The birds are displaying natural behaviours and the farm adheres to all stocking, enrichment and welfare requirements. If they're meeting all the welfare requirements, you can see how low the bar actually is. So that you're looking at the footage, right? It's horrible. And the industry are going, no, that's normal. There's nothing wrong here. Crazy. Here we go. The company said the staff visit sheds a minimum three times a day to access the health and welfare of the birds. A small number of birds may die between those checks and are identified and removed during the next inspection. So if you're doing inspections three times a day and there's already all these birds dying on their faces and dead birds everywhere, how many birds must be dying in there? How often? And you're saying you're removing them each time? How many are dying? Like, do the maths. The spokesperson added that people in a shed at an irregular time could also affect the birds' movements. Ah, oh, go on. So they're blaming the activists now. The audacity to blame the activists. The audacity. This is what they do. They, they try to pass off responsibility of the activists weren't in, debt, in there. The, you know, it wouldn't have affected the birds' movements. Like, shh, come on, mate. And then Stuart Jones, director of Upload Agency, which represents Nico, said, whilst we take these allegations very seriously and will speak with KFC about these claims, the filming that our client took part in accurately reported the conditions he saw and experienced on the day. Look, I don't think this is Nico's fault. And I don't think anyone should think this is Nico's fault. I think he should be a little bit wiser to this in the future. But they took him in and they tricked him. But he should be careful next time promoting animal products. So there you go, KFC busted big time here. Nico should never have got involved. Moy Park, they just tortured chickens for KFC to get a big fat paycheck. Never listen to industry people when it comes to the welfare of these animals. They don't care primarily about the welfare of the animals. They're not animal sanctuaries. They're making money off of their exploitation and killing, okay? KFC, stop using chickens to grow food. Chickens are not food, they are sentient conscious beings, and this is a moral abomination. KFC, change your menu to plant-based, okay? This is disgusting what's going on to these chickens just so you can make money, and you can create plant-based alternatives that taste the same, and you know that. You have the best food scientists in the world. Support VFC chicken. Go buy a VFC chicken if you think what happens at KFC is disgusting, you don't want to support the company at all. And finally, just don't fall for the propaganda, ever. Don't fall for their propaganda, okay? If they truly cared about the interests of the animals, they wouldn't be exploiting and killing them, period. Everyone, go to the VFC YouTube channel, share the video around, share it far and wide, protest Moy Park and KFC, raise awareness, get online and social media, comment. I'll leave the original Joe video down below for you. I'll leave the VFC video expose down below as well. Share it far and wide, do what you have to do. I'm going to be doing a little action myself off the back of this, because this is really, really powerful stuff. Um, they've been caught red-handed, and we should expose them further. So let's get together as a movement and get behind this, help this expose be shared to those who need to see it. Thanks VSC, and I'll see you all in the next video.